you're doing a nice job. And I'll bet you're saying to yourself, Tom, I've been staying with you the entire time. Well, this is where it gets a little bit deeper. You'll need to think a little bit more. Take a look at the primary index of this table. It is a non-unique primary index on order number. You may have noticed in almost every example, as a matter of fact, every example, the primary index has always been a non-unique primary index. We had none that said unique primary index, and that is because this is the rule. If the primary index is not also part of the partitioning statement, and what I mean by that is we've got our primary index of order number, but we're partitioning by a case n order total. You have to make the primary index non-unique. That's a rule. Here is an example to really bring the point home. Notice that we have a unique primary index, an UPI. It's a multi-column UPI on order number and order total combined. Then we're doing a case end statement. Our partitioning statement is on order total. Since our partitioning statement is part of the primary index, we can make it unique. And that's the only time you'll ever see a unique primary index in a partition table. You're going to see something ingenious here. Take a look. We know that most of our partition tables are going to have to have a non-unique primary index. And in a sense, we feel a little bit like, you know, this table has unique order numbers. So I wish it was a unique primary index. As a matter of fact, I can't look things up quite as fast because here's the way it works. If I say select everything where order numbers equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, they hash it. They know that it's gone to one amp. But since there's a lot of different partitions on that amp for that table, they're not sure where it's at. So they have to look in each partition. You see, partitioning helps in range queries, but it will slow down some queries where you're doing primary index lookups. Again, they know which amp. They just aren't sure quite which partition. So the search takes longer. So, whoo, get ready for this. I've created the non-unique primary index on order number, partitioned by order total. And then I come back and I can actually create a unique secondary index on order number. It's going to make it unique. And it's actually going to find a way to find that row in a two amp operation much quicker on any lookups where order numbers equal to one, two, three, four, five, six. This is a brilliant technique. If you can't really make it unique because you go order numbers not unique, you can create a non unique secondary index. Won't be quite as fast, but this is the only time I've ever seen someone create a secondary index on top of a primary index, but Teradata has this working perfectly, but only on tables that are partitioned. The greatest gift of all that you can give yourself and your company is the gift of the Nexus Query Chameleon, the query tool of the future. Click on the choice below to learn more about Nexus's amazing features.